Good evening. What's already shaping up to be an especially ugly year in politics is leading to vandalism. Someone hit the state Republican Party headquarters in Albuquerque. News 13's Brady Wakayama is live at their office to show you the vandalism. Brady. Just members of the Republican Party of New Mexico were shocked to find still traders spray painted just outside their doors over the weekend. And it's not the first time they've encountered something like this. And so that's a very strong word. It's a harsh word. It's a word that tears at the even the fundamentals of our country. Freedom of speech is a fundamental right in our country, but vandalism is not. There should be some respect back and forth. You can uh, disagree with people politically without uh, trying to to diminish their standing. And so uh, that's what I think this act does. And, and it's uh, just not a, it doesn't have a place in American politics. Steve Pierce is the chairman for the Republican Party of New Mexico. He says early Saturday the vandals spray painted their headquarters located near I-25 and Paseo. They checked their cameras and they caught everything. Pierce says this is the second time someone's vandalized their office in the past year. Spray painted about a year ago uh, the word traitors on the building and this time they uh, put the word still traitors. Pierce says he's fed up with the Republican Party being a target. You wouldn't want to live in a country where you were uh, diminished and, and uh, made to seem less valuable by some act like this. So why would you want others to experience what you wouldn't want to experience? Although the Republican and Democratic parties disagree on a lot of topics, they're in agreement on this. You know, vandalism is never acceptable. It's not the appropriate way to communicate. And, um, you know, this is something that we hope does not continue to happen in the future. As we inch closer to the election this fall, Pierce says he wants people to voice their opinions at the polls. Carried out at the ballot box, not on vandalism on property. And Pierce says removing this spray paint could cost more than $3,500. And they also believe the man cut on camera could be the same person responsible for the incident last March. Jess, back to you. All right, thank you, Brady. The Republican Party has sent the surveillance video to Albuquerque police.